hot dog, ladies and gentlemen. We have a fantastic comparison, a pitcher comparison between Flex Wheeler himself and Andrew Jack. 1999 was the year. The event was the British Grand Prix. And dare I say, Flex Wheeler, he was huge here. He was massive. Huge, I meant to say, not Hugh. But anyway, current competitor, Andrew Jacked. He is massive. 2024 Olympia, he's huge. Look at the space he is occupying compared to Flex Wheeler. It's a fan request, by the way. You guys, you people, you know who you are. Bodybuilding fans. And I love you for these comparisons, things of that nature. Wow. Big quads on Flex Wheeler. Sizing, little bit of an issue, I think. I had to use a, another pitcher behind Flex Wheeler as I wanted to get the full, the full scale. Most of those pitchers from the British Grand Prix don't get the full body. Arms are huge. Wheels are good for Flex. I think it's the torso heap where it would get Andrew Jack. Are we really comparing a guy from the 90s with a guy from today? Here's the front lot spread. Yes, we are. I get the odd comment. Are you really comparing these guys? I, I want to comment back sometimes, but I just don't have time. And I apologize to you fellers. Wouldn't even mind bickering with some of you guys sometimes, but just don't have the time, gosh darn it. Quads, very impressive for Flex Wheeler. Once again, I don't care what decade it is. Flex Wheeler's quads will fit in anywhere. Probably dominate, too, to tell you the truth. Now, normally, I would say Andrew Jacked. He is covering Flex Wheeler like a blanket in this front lat spread. But at the Olympia, mm, Jack was not 100%. Jacked was off. Turn to the side. A little bit of foolishness in there. Sizing, bit of an issue, I have to admit. I did slip in a, a full body side chest from Flex Wheeler in behind just to try to size it correctly. It's just all blurry. A better, clearer shot here that we can see. But something going on here. Flex Wheeler, he makes Andrew Jacked look like he has no quads at all. Look at that. So there's definitely something wrong here. Was Flex that big? I do hear stories, tales. They could be tall tales, but I don't know. These are some huge big lags. Lags. I don't know how to say it. Here's the side tricep. Hmm. This is a hoo-ha pose for Flex Wheeler at best at the British Grand Prix. What an event that would have been. Back in 1999? Was this before the Olympia? Or was this after the Olympia? That's the only two choices. It wasn't at the Olympia. So you know what I mean? You know what I'm so saying? It's like the price of something. Is it the price of it? Or is it more or less? That's the only three options that it can be. And in this situation... I'd give Flex the side poses. He's just too thick for Andrew Jacked. Very exposing of Jacked's thinness from the side. <laughs> Here's the back. Oh my soul. What happened to poor Flex Wheeler's back development? There was a time that his rear double was the best on the bodybuilding stage. He'd even get, um... For goodness sakes, Ronnie King Coleman in this pose. If you used a couple of the right versions, it would have to be earlier 90s for Flex Wheeler. His rear double was incredible. The back was probably bigger than this massive version, and everything else is way bigger. His arms are bigger in 99, his legs huge, massive, badonkadonk even, glutes. But his back is more petite. So, you look at the 1993 back double by from Flex Wheeler and the proportions were in. I mean, it was a good pose. So, if you're actually going to take this one serious, it's not even a matchup in the back shots. 
And yes, I say shots because there is no pitcher, one worth using anyway, of Flex Wheeler's back lat spread. But we can rest assured that his back lat was far worse than his rear double even. Go to the abs and thigh. And this 1999 Flex Wheeler, probably not what it was cut out to be. I mean, yeah, he was huge. He was big as he's ever been. With conditioning, decent. But I mean, yeah, you make your decision on it. You could see the glutes in that other, that back shot. Maybe not the most peeled, as they say. Peeled. No, Andrew Jack just has a far superior structure in this shot. The V-taper itself, Flex Wheeler always lacked a little bit. A little lackluster in the abs and thigh as far as that's concerned. So, yes... Not a bad set of abs, for sure. And a set of quads, second to none. But I still think Flex Wheeler, slightly overrated in the abs and thigh. He's no Sean Ray, and he's no blunder from down under. Lee Priest, perhaps two of the best. Here's the most muscular to finish this one off. And you can see the arms coming into the equation which favors Flex Wheeler, absolutely. And abs, speaking of abs, in this shot here, Flex Wheeler has the better the better midsection. There's no doubt about that. You can see Andrew Jack, he was, he was not 100%. He was off, I don't want to say way off his mark, but he was definitely off his mark at the Olympia. Bubba Bond, J -j -j James, Bubba Bond. But yes, He's doing enough to defeat this 1999 Flex Wheeler. I would suggest the back just was not up to par. And when it came to Flex Wheeler versus Ronnie King Coleman, I believe that was always the difference. That's why Flex Wheeler, once Coleman got that Olympia title, Flex was never touching him. Could never beat him. The front? Sure. Side? Yeah, there was an argument. Turned them around, and it was, mm, yeah, buddy, lights out. And Andrew Jack was doing enough. Plus, you know, it's not like Andrew Jack is some Tinkerbell. He's Andrew friggin' Jacked, for goodness sakes. He's just as good as Flex. Maybe even better, structurally speaking. Flex had some qualities, though, guys. He had some muscles, and some probably would say... Some slapped on clay, if you know what I'm. Swing, swing, Eric, Eric, swing.